<laughs> All right, we try this. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Ah, not easy. Good luck. Come on, try. You can do it. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one. Okay. Slower? <laughs> All right, what do you feel when you do it? What do you start to feel? Where does it go wrong? Dizzy. Dizzy. So that means actually that you're not using a head spot. Yeah? Dizzy means when your, your head is constantly like you don't know where you are. Instead of you actually every time have a checkpoint and you know where you are. Ta. Then you come back to this point in front. That will help you to focus and be more clear in the awareness of direction. Where am I in the room while I'm turning or finish the turn? Another problem? I see this. Wobbling. Wobbling. You know why you wobble? Because you hold your center too much. You do this. You start holding and the more you hold, the less efficiency you get in the wind-up. The more you actually allow to allow that wind-up to happen, the more efficient your balance is going to be on the standing leg. But you start holding because you panic about the speed. Look, hold, hold. And that's why you start to wobble. Trust, trust the gravity. Mother Earth is the best nature you have. Follow the mother nature. But don't watch gravity, okay? <laughs> Let it just happen underneath your head. Underneath your head because the more you look down, the more you lose the column in your back. All right? Now let's do this one more time. And now maybe you understand a little bit more how important that is to use the back and feel just to stand upright. I went through the fire for you. Again, one more time, and, and look to the front when you finish, F come back to the front, change the weight a little bit, do this weight change, look, tiny, just a little bit rocking in the wind, springtime, summer breeze, yeah? then to the left, and finish, return, finish, return to the front, very good, whoop, and feel that you close your arms in front like this, da, da, when you turn, whoop, look at this, da, look at this, hello, look at me, <laughs> da, do this, take, take and give, take and give, nowadays it's all take and give after, take and give, yeah, not just, not just give, give all the time, sometimes you need to take, then you can give again, take and give, huh? but not also only this, huh? <laughs> not only this, <laughs> sometimes give back, okay, so take, give, take, give, take, give, Take this. It helps, no? It helps. Ha, 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 ha. You see? A little intention in the head helps suddenly to put the arms at the right place. No? Got it? Try again. And open from the back. And head spot to the front. Yes. Take a spot. Yeah, very good. And return it. Very good. Good. Yeah. Is that better? Better. And I realize that you start to trust your weight a little bit more. You stop holding. Because that is a very common, common illness in our dancing that I see a lot holding bodies. And that is for you, of course, always this, this signal. You need to be ready to dance. That means you need to get energized. So you need to hold your body. Keep your posture. How many times you heard that? Keep your posture. Many times. I think this is the worst advice you can do. I think you should use your posture, not keep it. Because as soon as you do this, pull in, chest out, stomach in. This is the old version that I used to learn when I was a child as well. Stomach in and chest out. I already feel wrong. 
Yes? Just instead of I feel, of course, I shouldn't look like dropped in, like a couch potato. So I just feel a little natural elongation to our column and that is the spine. But just to that degree that you're still capable of using a rotation inside. Because if you overstretch, of course, your spine, you are also not putting the rotation at the place where you want. Huh? Do a really proper stand-up, come on. Like you learned it in school. Da! Bam! <laughs> Yes, now try to do this exercise with a turn. This is not possible, you see, you're now swinging from the outside. You keep coming back to me. I, I feel, I feel there's something going this weekend. <laughs> is Anna here? <laughs> Hi Anna, don't worry, it's all good. All right, yes, so the more you keep that, the less you get the efficiency of the rotation in that vertebra that helps you actually to turn more efficient. Of course we use muscles. As soon as we get out of bed, we activate some muscles in order to get up and walk and hold our body. But we need to just hold enough to be still capable of elasticity. And that's the problem. As soon as you contract your muscles completely, you have no elasticity in the body. And therefore, you of course don't look free. Yes, yeah? so you can feel that. Yeah? So that is the balance that you need to find. Good? Easy? Is that easy? Okay, then we can try one more time with music, a little bit slower. But you get it, yes? Try that. Keep the head point. Keep the turn. Feel that your shoulders drop down your back. Very good. Put your arms up and feel that the elbows connect to this point where we turn from. Turn from the back. Don't swing the arm. Very good. And then turn around. And don't think about speed. Let it happen. Let it happen. And maybe you find better speed if you let it happen. Yeah? Good. That looks better. Okay. Let's try. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Now, honey bunny, this is better. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, we can take out the Roomba then soon. <laughs> Ready? Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. And think about the arms coming in. Open, close, 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 open, ta, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one.